Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be um, part two of my thrifting adventure. Um, but first off, I just want to apologize because I had originally filmed this already and had all kinds of problems um, uploading and I ended up having to scrap the whole video. So um, because I'm doing this again, I had already taken all the price tags and stuff off of my items, so I don't know the exact prices of any of the things that I'm about to show you um, that I got at Savers. Uh, so again, I apologize. Um, I will try to remember to the best of my ability uh, what I paid for each item. So let's get into this haul. Uh, one of the first things that I got was this gorgeous plate. It is, the colors are absolutely beautiful. And I want to say I paid $1.99 for it, but then again, I could be wrong. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to just put my glasses on. I, I tried to do these videos without my glasses, but I, it's just impossible, so... I'll just put them on and leave them on. Um, this was made in France. And the only real issue with it is that on this little area here, it's missing some of the gold paint. But you know what? I'm keeping it for myself so I could just touch it up with some gold paint that I have. I then found this really nice Pyrex um, juice. Uh, actually, it's a measuring decanter. It has the measurements there, and it's made by Pyrex. Hopefully, you could see it. I got some glare going on here. There it is. And it's actually in excellent shape. I mean, there's very little um, paint loss on the flowers. Actually, I don't see really any. And I think I paid uh, $2.99 for this. Um, unfortunately, it is m missing the lid that goes inside. But who knows, maybe I'll find one. I ended up getting this set of forest green um, glasses. There are six of them. Um, and I believe I paid $4.99 for this set. Um, it's a little much and I have to say that savers um, their prices can be a little high on things um, so I have to hope that I make you know get a good return but it's really pretty it's got the swirl pattern on the bottom and on the uh, the stem uh, then I got a set of four of these uh, depression glass green juice glasses And I believe there's an L on the bottom, and I'm assuming they're made by Libby. And keeping with the green depression glass, I found this really pretty bud vase. Look at the pretty design on the top. Very, very pretty. And I think I paid $1.99 for it. I picked up this set of Luster Wear. Let me pick these up so you can see them. Beautiful. The colors are beautiful. No chips, no cracks. Uh, I got four cups. I got, oh look it, I didn't take the price tags off of this one. The four cups and the four saucers, and it cost me $7.99. Not happy with that price, but they were so pretty, I had to get them. And then I uh, separately, I got four uh, luncheon plates for $5.99. So, you know... <laughs> I have like $11 into this set, so I'm hoping that I can make some money on these still. Um, they were made in Japan. Has 
OG Japan. I don't remember what the OG stands for. Um, one other thing that I was so excited to find, but not excited about the price, but of course I bought it anyway, is this vintage set of glasses in the gold and the olive green. And the pattern on them is called, I think it's called bamboo. And um, I paid $9.99. I know I need my head examined. Um, but I still think I can make a profit off of it. And I did find uh, three pieces of milk glass. I have to have my milk glass fix. Um, so let me show you these. I got this beautiful silver crest bell. Um, I believe it um, is the Spanish lace pattern. It rings. Very, very, very pretty. Don't remember what I paid. Then I got this. Um, this is Westmoreland. Beautiful uh, bowl with the grape leaf pattern. And this one's not marked on the bottom. I'm assuming it's Westmoreland, but you know what? I could be wrong. I mean, this is also the grape leaf pattern. Perfect condition, no chips, no cracks. So those were my three milk glass pieces that I found. Uh, next up, um, I did find some Pyrex and some Corning Wear and some Corel, I believe. Nope, um, no Corel. These are my little Pyrex fruit dishes. Um, the set of three, I think maybe they were $1.99 and it's the Primrose pattern. And I did haul... Um, a loaf pan um, with the same pattern in my last video. So I'll probably um, put them together as a little set. Then I got this blue Pyrex loaf pan. Um, can't remember what I paid for it, um, but it's Pyrex. Um, I found this beautiful <laughs> Corningware blue corn flour uh, meat platter. Um, I believe I paid $239 for it. Actually, I might have got this at, I might have got this at the Salvation Army. Uh, oh well, whatever. <laughs> it's just one less thing I show you in my Salvation Army haul. But uh, I'm definitely going to um, resell this item. Uh, also from Savers, I got another piece of blue corn flour, um, corning ware. Um, it's a saucepan. I'm sorry, I'm finding like little fuzzies on here. Um, excellent condition. Um, so I got that. And I got these two Pyrex... Um, these are uh, like restaurant wear. Um, two of them, they call them table wear. Um, I don't remember the pattern. I have to look it up. Um, and um, these are also going to be for resale. They're in really good shape. I mean, there's no paint loss on the pattern or anything. Then I got this beautiful Fire King Peach Luster um, divided casserole. It's in really, really good condition. Um, there's really no, no paint loss, um, no real visible, um, scratches or anything in the, um, the luster part. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, then I got this really nice glass bake. See, it's backwards, maybe. Uh, refrigerator 
dish with the lid. Um, it's in really good condition. There's no chips, no cracks. Um, it really is in, in very, very good condition. Going back to my blue corn flour, <laughs> corning ware, got this beautiful loaf pan. Um, it's in really good condition. Um, I had to do a little bit of a cleanup on it, and I actually see where I missed a couple spots here. But, um, yeah, I mean, it came out beautiful. Alrighty, then I thought this was so cute, I had to get it. Uh, this really cute glass bake, little tiny loaf pan, or refrigerator, not a loaf pan, hello. I believe it's a little refrigerator container, but it didn't have a lid. But I just thought it was so cute, I had to have it. I'm sure I'll find something to put in it. Going back to Pyrex. <laughs> I got this really nice, um, it's called Snowflake Garland Pattern in the blue color, Pyrex Bowl. And it is a one and a half quart. And then in the white color with the Snowflake Garland, I got this bowl. I believe it's a casserole. And I think this is one and a half quart as well. One of my favorite finds is this set of four au gratin dishes from Pyrex. Um, the color is Horizon Blue. Um, you can see there. And they are the ta also tableware, I believe. Yes, tableware and they're in excellent condition. There is not a chip, not a mark on, one little teeny mark on this one. I don't know if you could see it, it's right here. See that? Um, but that's it. They're all in excellent condition. And I know I could get a good price for those. As well, if I don't break them, Got this really pretty, I had to make sure I had the right item here, uh, Fire King uh, cake pan, I believe it is, in excellent shape. It's just got a little bit of marking um, on the back here, if you could see here. Otherwise, it's no, no chips, no cracks, excellent condition. And I believe I got, yes, uh, two. me if I'm not telling you the prices um, because I just can't remember the prices of everything. I'm so sorry. And then I got this beautiful Pyrex pie dish, deep dish pie dish. It's in um, like the milk glass. It has the scalloped edging on the handles and inside. And um, I want to say, I, I think this one I paid $1.99 for, um, but I love it. And I did haul a clear one in my last video, and um, I think I might keep this one too. <laughs> so there goes the profit on that. All right, and then I picked up these two pink depression glass uh, sugar bowls in the, I think it's the black optic pattern. Too bad I couldn't find the creamer for at least one of them so I could sell it as a set, but I'm sure that somebody, you know, could use these, you know, as um, replacements. And I also got another pink, pink depression glass sugar bowl, and um, this has the circles pattern. And they're in excellent condition. Um, I did find this really cute, um, Disney, uh, mug. It's got, who do we got in there? Goofy, Donald, Mickey, and Minnie. Um, it doesn't say anything on the bottom, but made in the USA. 
So I'm really not sure who made it, but if I know my daughter, she'll see it and she'll scarf it up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And then I got these two Welch's Jelly glasses. Of course, we have the Looney Tunes here. We have Foghorn Leghorn and the little uh, Chicken Hawk guy. <laughs> and then we have Tom and Jerry. So I saw those and I had to get them. I just think they're so cool. Um, 1991 is the date on this one. And this one's 1994. Okay, so I think that's it for my Savers haul. So I would just like to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you know anybody that enjoys thrifting, and please hit that subscribe, not the subscribe button, the bell, so that YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a video. Uh, so on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.